Hello friends, this is Eric Harrison. In this video, I want to talk to you about a skill that we all know we need to get better at, and yet we just never quite seem to do that. And so I'm going to give you three strategies that you can use today that will help you develop this skill. And I'm going to give you three character qualities that you can work on that will help you to make those strategies become a reality. What is the skill we're talking about? Listening. So listen up and let's get started. So we've all heard it. We all know we need to listen. You know, there's the old saying that God gave us two ears and one mouth because we need to listen twice as much as we speak. But the problem is the exact opposite is true for most of us. In fact, the problem is not only our mouth, the problem is our mind too, right? Because so many of us, if you're like me, when you're listening, you're also thinking about okay, here's how I'm going to respond, or, oh my gosh, I can't believe they just said that. As soon as they shut up, I can't wait to tell them why they're wrong. This is totally incorrect. And the strategies I want to give you today are going to help you not only to, re to improve your relationships, to improve your results, but they're also going to help you gain more influence, not just with in business, but with friends, family, acquaintances, and certainly with people who you disagree with. Because don't we all agree that we need to get along better than we are now? So let me start with the three strategies that you can use to become a better, more engaged listener. The first one, you have to listen not with your ears, but with your heart. So again, as I said in the intro, many of us try to listen, but we're really just trying to absorb as little as we can so that we can move on to our point. But when you listen with your heart, you're engaging with that other person. You're feeling what they're saying. You're not just hearing it, you're feeling it in the very depths of your soul, really. So you're engaged with that person and you're showing them that you really truly do care by the way you're interacting, by the way you're acknowledging what they're saying. Okay, so listen with your heart and not just with your ears. The second thing is instead of trying to prove a point, what is your goal for the conversation? Is it to prove a point or is it to reach an understanding? And unfortunately, so many conversations today have become adversarial and there's no reason why they should do that. Such, it's been such a short time ago that we could have conversations with other people who didn't think the way we did and it didn't become this angry situation where you just avoid conversations altogether. And many of us are dealing with that. I'm dealing with that with family members and friends where things have become so tense that we can't even have a conversation. So we have to seek to reach an understanding, to understand why the other person thinks they do. And not that it's going to change the way we think, but at least we can understand and sympathize with where they're coming from versus just rushing to judgment and seeking to just tear them down and tell them all the reasons why they're wrong. Number three, and I love this one. I heard this from my pastor actually last week, and he said this. He said, you can listen compassionately even if you don't agree with the other person's conviction." So listening compassionately encompasses everything we've talked about up to this point. It's using your heart. It's empathizing with other people. It's noting what they're saying, maybe even writing notes while they're talking. So you want to listen compassionately and let the other person know that what they have to say and that they are important, even if their convictions are completely opposite of yours. So question of the day, which one of these strategies 
is most difficult for you and which one do you need to start working on today? Share that in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think about these and how you plan to implement them. Now, as promised, let me give you the three character qualities that you need that will help you to develop these three strategies. Number one is empathy. And empathy is simply the psychological identification with feelings, thoughts, and attitudes of another person. If you have empathy, if you're engaging, again, not just with your ears, but with your mind and your heart with that other person, you're going to have empathy so that they will want to open up to you and communicate more deeply with you. The second one is humility. And humility is simply the mindset or opinion or estimate of one's rank or importance. And the more humble you are, the more you realize that who you are and what you are is really not important. It's all about treating other people as more important than ourselves. So empathy, humility, and the last one is charitable. And one of the definitions for charitable, charitable is just kindly <clears throat> uh, or intently engaging and not judging other people. So really, if you employ those three values and you seek to work on those values in your own life, you can use those to become a better listener. Now, if you want a list of values to work on, you can find many uh, lists on the internet. I happen to love uh, the list that's on page 75 of Tom Ziegler's book, Choose to Win. Uh, there's a link in the notes down below. You can click on that link and grab your copy of the book or feel free to go search the internet. There's plenty of free resources out there to give you a list of values. The other thing I would direct you to do is to go to my YouTube channel. I have a, another video there called Asking the Right Questions because the better you become at asking questions, the more engaged you'll be with other people, the more they'll open up and the more opportunities that you will have to become a compassionate listener. So I hope you'll take these strategies and I hope you'll start to improve your relationships, your results, and your influence. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you soon in another one.